Hey everybody, today's video, top 10 BS ships in World of Warships. Uh, we're looking at ships that either shouldn't be in the game, ships that have been removed, ships that are basically overpowered, ships that really never existed and are basically overpowered, and ships that have yeah, been removed, etc. So, coming in at number 10, any tier 4 CV. Now, if you play tier 4, or you grind through a line and you end up in tier 4, you'll understand why. Ranger, Ryujo, any of those. Uh, it's where CV players go to stat pad, because anything in tier 4, sometimes tier 5, doesn't really have much anti-aircraft defense, etc. Yeah, so that's why I rate any tier 4 CV as pretty much, yeah, as bullshit. Tier 5, the Julio Cesar. <laughs> Julio Cesar was a ship released in uh, 2017. I actually have it. I got it for free in uh, container in World of Warships. And there's a lot of discussion around the Julio Cesar. It is super fast. It is, I think, 28 knots. It's got amazing guns. It's got a citadel, which is very, very hard to penetrate. Um, and it is my go-to ship for, for tier 5. Um, she's also no longer available for purchase because she was overpowered. Um, if you compare her stats with a lot of other ships, you'll see she belongs somewhere between tier 6 and tier 7. I mean, she's got 45,500 hit points. The Odin that was just released at tier 8 has 52,000 hit points. So yeah, that's why the Julio Cesar is there. Then, at tier 6, my choice for bullshit ship is the Russian battleship Ismail. And while the Ismail has a nasty citadel, it also has the one thing that I think makes it a little bit overpowered versus every other ship. It has 16 365mm guns at tier 6. I'm going to let that six sink in. It has 16 358 millimeter guns at tier 6. And it has a health pool of 51,700. Yeah, unless it's broadside to you, that thing will fuck shit up. I've seen them dev struck pretty much anything at tier 5, tier 6, even tier 7 stuff. Uh, Helena, any of those ships come at it, it gets absolutely deleted. Ah, moving on. Tier 7, the bigger brother, the Sunop. Sunop is just such a bullshit ship. Uh, <laughs> the reason for that, monster health pool at tier 7 at 61,600. Remember what I said about the Odin that was just released, and the Odin only has 52,000. The Massachusetts that I'm playing in the background here at 66,000 hit points. Well, the Sunop has 61,000 and the Sinop has 406 millimeter guns yeah it's got amazing armor it's got really really good guns and it is completely and utterly OP the bias runs very very strong within the Sinop anybody that's ever played the Sinop knows how overpowered it is versus something like Sharon Ors, Can Eisenhow, um I can't think of any other other ships in the tier 7 now. The other tier 7 that's completely overpowered is the Belfast. Now the Belfast was introduced back in 2016 and it's since been permanently removed from sale. And what makes the Belfast as a cruiser so completely overpowered? Well, at tier 7 it has the ability to mount smoke, hydro and radar and very uncommon for light cruisers like the Edinburgh, Neptune, Minotaur, it has HE. So in a tier 7 match, your Belfast can sit in smoke, hydro for torpedoes coming at it, radar to find something else, and it can sit and sling copious amounts of HE. The Belfast is completely bullshit. It's a good thing it's not available anymore, because otherwise I would open my wallet and I would buy one. Now, at tier 8, I couldn't think of anything in all the tier 8s that's completely bullshit. But at tier 9, the Missouri. 
Now the Missouri was released in December 2016 in the game. It used to be 750,000 free XP. Unfortunately, I never got it along with the Musashi. Musashi isn't OP at all. So what do I think the Missouri can classify as utter bullshit ship? The Missouri has one of the highest credit making potential or credit multipliers in the game. A mediocre game in the Missouri without economy flags will net you a million credits. A really, really good game in a Missouri will net you easily one and a half to two million uh, credits. Also, the Missouri has radar instead of a fighter or a catapult um, spotting aircraft, etc. Yeah, Missouri is utter bullshit. <laughs> it's a pity you can't get it anymore. Moving on to tier 10. There's quite a few, but the first one is the Marceau. The little uh, French speedy boat. And why do I think it's utter bullshit? Well, if configured correctly, the speed that it has can top out at over 55 knots with the engine boost. And like I said, if it's got correctly configured, that can run that speed boost for two thirds of the battle. So, 14 odd minutes of a 20 minute battle, this thing can run at 55 knots. The other reason is also, believe it or not, it's got the highest HE damage per minute output of any tier 10 destroyer. Are you listening, Rukumo? It's got the highest HE damage. And you can't shoot the thing because it's so fucking fast. And that's why it falls in my list of bullshit ships. Everybody's favorite tier 10 bullshit ship, the Kremlin. Uh, I have a minute to talk about the Kremlin and I don't know where to start. 457 millimeter guns, an incredibly robust armor scheme. A paper ship that never really actually existed. Um, 30 second turret traverse. Oh, <laughs> I know personally, one uh, of the matches that we had during the arms race, uh, ranked sprint, two Harugamos and a Smolensk were shooting at me, and I tanked over 4.6 million damage in it. It is just so broken it's not even funny um yeah apparently it's getting nerfed again so we'll see how if it if it stays on the list next almost an honorary mention but i have to mention it at tier 10 is the thunderer well the thunderer was only released last year september the 16th it's coming up for a year in the armory uh it's a coal ship and it's basically very similar to the Conqueror, except it's got 457 millimeter guns. Uh, it's got kind of trash armor, so why would I put it as a completely bullshit OP ship that shouldn't be in the game? Um, it's got an HE fire starting capability, uh, or a chance of fire cause by an HE cell of 63%. Put two flags on, that means every shell that this thing fires has a 65% chance of setting a fire. If you take Demolition Expert as a skill, it takes it up to 67%. Yes, it's only got eight guns, but at 457, well, even if you don't set a fire, it will fuck shit up. Then, everybody's favorite, favorite bullshit ship, which I think rates number one. The Smolensk. Yeah. The Smolensk wasn't even a year in the armory. And she was released in August 2019. And she was removed with patch 0 0.9.3. And why does everybody hate the Smolensk and thinks it's a piece of shit that needs to be removed from the game? It's got 16 130mm guns firing at 4 seconds. Or 3.6 seconds depending on how you configure it if you take the reload module it's 3.6 if you take the range module it's 4 um, that is just insane it's got smoke it's got torpedoes it's got hydro it is so broken it's not even funny uh, I love mine I have over 1.2 million experience on it but 
it is so broken and a total piece of shit that shouldn't be in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think is the ship in the game that shouldn't exist. And uh, put it down in the comments and we'll speak soon. Cheers.